Hi everybody, I'm Mike. I'm here with my dearest of dear friends, Andrea, and we're at Casa Planta Nursery to look at all their wonderful plants. So, Andrea, you ready to dig in? I sure am, Mike. Let's, Let's grow! grow. Let me give you a little breakdown of how their, their garden center is set up. You have the parking lot here. This is your checkout. The, the main entrance and checkout is right here where I'm pointing to. Beyond that is their sun area where you have a lot of sun, sun loving plants. To the left of that, they're gonna have some of their trees and citrus. To my right here is their wonderful pottery section. Look at all that. Mexican pottery, ceramics. They also have some stone available for, for your garden. And back in there, they have the shade house where you can get some really cool shade loving plants. And they also have some wind chimes and fountains and some other wonderful garden ornaments in the shade house. Let's go inside and check it out. Going into the sun loving part of the nursery. Look at this. Isn't it great? Got some annuals here, some petunias, some marigolds. Woo woo! Beautiful. Oh, Monarch! Hello! Monarch was just on this Mexican flame vine. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that butterfly. Oh, so pretty. Oh, several. Uh, it's just butterfly central here. This is all their butterfly loving plants. They have some bougainvillea here, some sedum. Did a video with my sister. This is a cool low ground cover. Look at that lemon, lemon lime color. Beautiful plant. So pretty. Purslane. These are more of a annual. Oh, Lantana. Great butterfly magnet. There it is. You can see another monarch. Lantana depressa variety depressa. It's good, good lantana for butterflies. Bougainvillea. You know I'm a sucker for these guys. I've done done a video with my sister on that. Surprisingly, I was actually interested. So we're saying. what we'll do now is we're. <laughs> Shrimp plant. These are tough plants. We've had these in our yards a few times. Look at that, right? Beautiful shrimp plants, really cool. Look at those. Look at those flowers. Milkweed. I definitely wanna see if you can get the native milkweed as much as possible because the tropical milkweed, they say there's something that, that gets into the tummy of the butterfly that doesn't like. This is a huge butterfly magnet, y'all. This is purple passion flower. Wild flowers. I wonder if we can catch any. They're ready to pop. These are spectacular. This is the host plant for the zebra and the gulf fritillary. This is a really, really cool vine. Very, very strong grower. Pink trumpet vine. Very nice. Look at that. Look at the flowering. Oh, here we go. We got a little Persian lime. Hi. Yeah, they're, they're telling me that citrus is selling out real fast. There's Eureka lemon. I really like this plant. This is a Florida native. It's called Golden Creeper. Look at that. Look at the branching on that. It gets really, really dense. Bernodia littoralis. Really cool plant. It gets really, really big though. It'll get about three feet across overall. Really interesting. Look at that. Really cool. Tough Florida native. 
Uh, the native blue porter wheat here. Here they have some bananas. And this is the Jatropha. Really cool butter, really cool tough plant. Not not for the native, but it is it is a really really tough plant. It forms a small tree actually. Big butterfly magnet. Oh, and this, I, I wish you guys could smell. This is sweet almond. The scent on this is amazing. Also, all these will attract butterflies. Ooh, they even have cat whiskers. As you can tell, you see the little whiskers. And over here you have some plants that like the water. These are canna lilies, aren't they beautiful? Look at those colors. Spectacular. Look at this variegated canna lily. Muley grass. This is a beautiful, beautiful light pink flower. Oh, you can just see that it's finished. But I'll show you a clip of that flowering. Beautiful billows in the wind. Really, really pretty. Here they have some wild coffee. Bees love this plant. Oh, it's a great pollinator attractor. Florida native. Coco Blum, look at him. Big, big wildlife, wildlife attractor. Native, native shrub can get quite big. Each plant can almost form a small tree, about eight, 10 feet. But these are great for screening shrubs. Very drought tolerant. Here are some Jamaican caper. They'll have this sheen to them. Sometimes they'll get a little, in the springtime, they'll see that little sheen. They'll have this, they have a beautiful flower. It gets quite bushy. It's more of this oval shape to the plant, but it's really, 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 really tough. Over here, we have the red stopper. Cool, right? Another Florida native. It's nice red leaves. From this bush or small tree, really cool. Very cool plant. We have Mersine, another Florida native. Small wild coffee. There's the Bahama coffee. They have some yellow thryalis. I love this. Look at these guys. So pretty. Super cool plant. Blooms all the time. All the time. A little brittle, but really cool. Oh, they have some tipicina here as well. Oh, flowering. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, this is this is Queen Amacrinum. Really cool, really cool accent plant. We'll send out a lot of pups like this, but this will have like this burgundy underside and, and green top. The regular can, I'm sorry, the regular crinum lily will just be solid green, but the Emma has this uh, reddish tinge to the underside and the flowers will come out like this. Beautiful. It has this definitely burgundy red stalk, flower stalk, and the flowers will come out like here. But for the, for the regular crinum, this will be green, a green stalk with with white flowers but these form really good accents really tough got to be careful of uh, caterpillars though they like to eat this i'm sorry got to be careful of of grasshoppers grasshoppers like to eat this some bloom brush clusia Some Simpson stopper here. Florida native Simpson stopper. Some Podocarpus, not a Florida native, but boy, this is a tough plant. Once it gets established, sometimes these things are crazy if you use them as a hedge to screen. You can see they're showing it there as a as an accent uh, call, columnar plant. It goes very can go very, very tall and, and stay relatively thin, so you can do a thin hedge with this. We use that as a hedge in our Miami Shore, so I'm a partial hedge. But this is a really, really tough plant, and it doesn't grow super fast, so it doesn't cause a lot of maintenance when you're trimming it. So this, this is good for a formal hedge or to screen something. Any of these will come out this pretty lime green, and then they turn very dark over time.
This is Pringles. This is a this is a, a dwarf version of the Protocarpus that's been around for just a little while. Really cool. It doesn't grow that tall, about four, four to six feet max. While the other Protocarpus will get much taller. This is Calusia gutifera, big, big time plant that's really tough. It will get to easily 12 feet. This, a lot of people use these as hedges, but they get very wide, so you gotta be careful of that. Super tough, super, super tough. <gasps> Look at this, I got hibiscus. Oh my God, I'm such a sucker for hibiscus. We did a video on this plant. Hibiscus, so pretty, so, so pretty. Ooh, look at that. They have the flame aloe here. Isn't that sculptural? Isn't that cool? So beautiful. Have some Thai plants here, black magic. And over here, a lot of crotons. You have the shoestring. Woo! Coleus. Oh. Shoestrings. Just isn't that beautiful? Doesn't get that big. Yellow banana croton, isn't that pretty? Look at all these other crotons. Like the Congo, the excellent, the fantastic, real big leaves. Oh, I like the pie crust. This is interesting. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Real cool. This is just water from the sprinkler. It doesn't have that dusty look normally. Magnificent. These are really, really cool, aren't they? Look at the look at the color. Just magnificent. And the oak leaf. <laughs> very much like a northern oak leaf look at the oranges in that though isn't that beautiful yeah the sloppy painter croton look at that that yellow splotching isn't that beautiful yellow mammy look at that beautiful that corkscrew look and then they have the meme right next to it red mammy and the yellow mammy Here's the Eistin Croton. Here's the Petra. Golden Bell. Just so many to choose from. These are great for part sun to sun. I kind of like them where they get part sun, then putting them in full sun. Andrew, what is it that you were to tell some folk? I, I think you want to tell us something, Andrew. What is it? I do. Yeah? What I'd like to say is if you've enjoyed this video, uh -huh. hit the like button. Okay, will do. <laughs> Look at this shade house. Ooh la la. Pretty. Let's go check it out. Oh, they have some calancho. Aren't they pretty? Super spectacular. Look at the colors. Crazy. Native to Madagascar. These actually like sun, but you can keep them in part sun too. Really pretty. Great accents. Oh my God, these are not typically grown down here, but look at these hydrangea. Oh, I love them. The Dombea Seminole Pink has a similar, similar look to this, the, the plant that grows down here in South Florida. And these plants, if you give them a more alkaline soil, they're gonna have, have the pink flowers. And if you give them more acid, they'll have the blue flowers. This one has multicolor. Beautiful. It's actually endemic to tropical Asia. Look at this. <gasps> Crazy. It's so pretty. Beautiful. Some hanging baskets of pothos. There's some birkins. There's some neon pothos. So you have a house plant that's super tough. Ooh. Regular golden. You have the marble queen. We have some Swiss cheese. Oh. White bird of paradise. Isn't this a beauty? Really cool plant. Really, really cool. Really nice tropical plant. We have some ginger over there. Look at this, just some Congos. Look at it, it just goes on and on. Some Neurogelia, some native Kunti. Ooh la la, so much to see. So pretty. Oh, look at this. This red banana. These are the sun hostas. They're beautiful. Look at those flowers. Really cool. Several different 
types. Thai plants, super cool accent plants. These want to be more in the shade, shady environment. And then they have lemongrass. This is great. Lemongrass is this wonderful scent to the, to the leaf. If you crush the leaf and you smell it, it's gonna smell like lemon. It's great. They say it's also mosquito repellent, but lemongrass is really cool. It has a really, really cool lemony, lemony scent if you crush the leaves. Beautiful, beautiful nursery. Really good quality. That's one thing I'm noticing, really good quality here. Hey, Andrew, what's over here? What do you see over there? A fountain? No. A salus? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I love it. Are you excited? I'm so excited. You have no <laughs> idea. Love this. love this plant, huh? I love this plant. We've done houseplant videos on this. There's the Iron Cross. Beautiful. That's a beautiful one. You want another purple or? I'm just so thrilled that I've, you don't know, I've been on the hunt. I've I know, I know. For I'm glad I surprised you. Just so pretty. Just beautiful plant. Super tough. Oh, look at the bringing a honeybee. They brought in a little honeybee. Red lipstick palm. My goodness, look at that palm. <gasps> this is a beautiful palm, you all. Love that palm. Ariel told me that they change out their plants quite a bit. You'll see stuff throughout the year as they come in and bring new stuff. You can see a lot, a lot, a lot of shade loving plants here, obviously. One of my faves, as you'll see in our videos, is the Laqualla grandis. I love this. Palm doesn't go very big. What a statement though. Beautiful. Just great in a container or the ground, but but it is slow growing. And also the fiddle leaf, this one's a great, great house plant or an accent tree in your yard. Doesn't get too too big down here in South Florida. But really, really cool. They have them in different sizes here. A lot of, a lot of tropical plants here. Well, here's a white end there. They're beautiful. It's great for shade. Look at this, aren't they beautiful? So pretty. Oh my gosh, they have the constellation, the Thai constellation. These are not cheap, you all. Oh my gosh. I wonder how much these are. Ooh la la. Oh, these are not cheap, but beautiful. Oh, these are so rare. Look at them. Beautiful. I wonder how much this one is. 200 bucks. Ooh, I want it. Ooh, what am I to do? What am I to do? Uh, what to do? What to do? Biological control. Oh, Ariel, this is awesome. Are you praying mantis? Okay, yeah. They're just like, look, there's two egg casings in there, and then they, I think they have a lot of little babies inside once they hatch. Here's their pottery for house plants, as well as wind chimes and other garden ornaments. Ooh la la. Orchid display. Look at those orchids. Woo! Lots of phalaenopsis. Lots of pottery for your interior plants. Here they have a lot more pottery. Your garden space. Some terracotta, ceramic, some Mexican pottery. Oh god, it's like my favorite color. I love that blue. And if 
you're looking for some garden pottery, you're gonna find it here at Casa Planta. Look at all these beautiful ceramic pots. The daisies are so pretty. Did you have a good time? I had a marvelous time, what a day. Thank you all so much for joining us here today at Casa Planta and big thanks to Ariel for showing us around. We really appreciate it. Andrea, do you have any questions for anybody? No, I don't, but if they do, uh -huh. please leave them in the comments below and Mike will be sure to get right back to you. Okay, until the next video, bye. Bye. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And tell your friends and family, we post videos weekly. Thanks.